exits. In the event of an emergency, please follow the direction of our team members. The presentation will begin in a few moments. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> uh, oops, sorry, uh, wrong announcement. Uh, my bad, uh, here it is. <clears throat> welcome to Professor Slither's Creepy Critters. Before we begin, we simply ask that you please not touch any of the animals during the show. This rule also applies to for the professor. We do not know where she's been. And now... Let's welcome the star of our show, Academy Award winner for most annoying person at a theme park, Professor T. Slither! Mother, please tell the other dancers when I'm done with my presentation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Professor T. Slithers! Hello, you can applaud for me. Come on, come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. Thank you, thank you. Now, I'm sure you remember my brother from last year, but it's been a while since I've been to Six Flags Great Adventure, and like every other great franchise that disappears for a while, it was time for a reboot. But I have not just been sitting on my couch, oh no, 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 I have been traveling the world, searching for the creepiest, crawliest, most terrifying creatures on Earth. So I can bring them right here to Fright Fest to scare all you kids. You don't have to scream like that, all right? We're just getting started. Now, I could have done this all on my own, but I only have two hands, so I needed some assistance. I decided to put a few old friends on the payroll. Please welcome Witch Hazel! Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now! See And now, what would a Professor Slither show be without my loyal companion, my best friend? and the cheapest sidekick I could find off Craigslist, Dan McMahon! Yes, sir, thank you. It's great to be here. It is great to have you, Dan. Alrighty, so here's how this thing's gonna work. I am gonna read you a spell from this, uh, Spells for Dummies book, which you can own for $4.95 at a Bones & Noble near you. Witch Hazel is gonna mix the ingredients together into the cauldron, and when it's all done, that creature will emerge from the cauldron, and it's gonna scare all of you! <laughs> Sir, it's okay, please. The scary stuff doesn't start till six, all right? Thank you. Now, Dead, are you ready? Yes, I am. Great! Witch Hazel, are you ready? Um, all right, I was hoping for the verbal confirmation, some enthusiasm. Come on, Hazel, tell the crowd how excited you are to be back. Wait a minute, whoa, stop the music, stop the music, hold on now. What's the matter, Hazel? Cat, got your tongue? <laughs> I think so, Professor. Oh, come on, Hazel, don't be shy. Tell the nice people how you're excited. Uh, no, 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 no Professor, I think a cat literally got her tongue. <laughs> Bad accident. Uh, I don't think she'd like to talk about it. Oh. I mean, if she could talk anyway. Okay, well, no matter. We're all ready. And if we're all ready, then we must go to... The Cauldron! <clears throat> I said olive juice. Don't get your hopes up. <clears throat> all ready? Karate! Karate Kid! Wax on! Wax off! Panda! Panda Express! Kung Fu Panda! Alrighty, enough of that. Dead, please do not touch the cauldron, alright? Thank you. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> this next concoction bears my name for the way it quietly slithers. When talking, it hisses, gives hugs but not kisses, and has scales but not fur and not feathers. One, two, three, what is it? What? Speak up. Right, that's right. It's a big, slithery, slimy, disgusting, thank you, Dad, disgustingly slimy thing! Oh, I got you 
she's so good. Ah, ready, guys? Look at me. I'm Medusa. Look into my eyes. Oh, wait. Now I'm French. Oh, baguette. Croissant. French food. Ah. Uh, professor. What? What you're holding there aren't real snakes. What do you mean? It says right here, made in Taiwan. Genuine snake. Duh. Uh, no, professor. What Hazel is holding is a real snake. What Hazel is? Well, no, no. What the heck is that thing? It's like a big, giant noodle. It doesn't have any legs. How does it go to the bathroom? I'm so confused. Get the dude from it. Everyone, yeah, this... Yeah, but I'm scared. Excuse me, Professor, I was talking. Anyway, everyone, this is Cobb. Can everyone say, hi, Cobb? Looks like this guy, so bald. The thing is terrifying. Uh, no, it's not, Professor. Snakes are actually usually more afraid of us than we are of them. Right, but that's why we teach them to attack on verbal command. Cobb, attack, start slithering. Look at me, I'm a snake, I'm a slithery, slimy snake. Uh, Professor, actually, uh, snakes don't have ears, so they actually lack that sense. Oh. They mainly use their sense of smell to become accustomed to their surroundings. Oh, oh, I do that too. When I smell stale Doritos and body odor, I know I'm home. That, that just left a disgusting taste in my mouth. Anyway, you see the way that Cobb actually is comfortable in Hazel's arms? Mm -hmm. It's the same way that he'd get comfortable in the branches of a tree. Oh, great, so he's a tree hugger. Next thing you're gonna tell me is that he likes to wear tie-dye shirts and go to Grateful Dead concerts. Clap for me! Come on, I'm funny! Thank you. Ooh, ooh! Get to the part where it eats children for breakfast, lunch, and dinner! Uh, no, Professor. He does not eat children. Oh. He mainly eats mice and rats. Mice and rats? Well, good thing we're not in Orlando. Oh, boy! <laughs> uh, no, we don't. We, she didn't say that. Yeah, we didn't say that. Don't have the rights for that. <laughs> now, anyway, she'll actually squeeze her prey really tightly and swallow them whole. So he gives big hugs and swallows his food whole. Sounds like my aunt on Thanksgiving. Guys, is that thing scary? No? It's not? You're sure? All right, then. Get it out of here. All right, everyone say goodbye, Cobb. Bye, Cobb. Oh, <sighs> Professor, mm -hmm? I've been working on something. A little party trick, if you will. Dad, come on now. We all know you don't get invited to parties. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. But I think it'll help you scare the kids. Oh, all right. I'm in. You see that book on the shelf over there? Um, yeah. You mean this one written by... J.K. Rowling. Never heard of him. Yeah, that one. Could you throw in the cauldron for me? Um, alright. I don't really see how this is gonna help you scare the crowd, but what the heck. It's a 20-minute show. We got time. Why not? And it out! Whoa! Ow! Merlin's beard! That hurt? Ow! Did somebody ask for a wizard? Are you... Gandalf? What? No! Oh. I'm Professor Albus Percival Brian Wolfric, a jungle dog. I'm sorry, Professor? No, no, no. I am the only professor on this stage. Would you rather I transformed into Snape? Are you serious? No, I'm Dumbledore. More like Dumble. Boring! And that's all right. We have plenty of spells left in the spell book. And if we're going to go back to the spell book, then we must go to... Oh, Hazel, you scared me. Hey, Hazel. Just fly in from Wichita. Uh, How'd you get free broom parking? Ready, guys? She's driving in her car and it goes broom, broom! For bad jokes, I say 10 points from Slytherin. Anyway, we must go to the cauldron. She's a maniac, maniac Don't laugh at me! I'm trying my hardest! I have low self esteem! Whoa! 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 Alright, Hazel, spritz me. That was mediocre. Try hard next time, right? Stop it! Ugh. Nitro! King the car! El Toro! Sideboard! Sideboard! Spin! Justice League! Battle 4! Metropolis! In 4D. You should all ride it. It's really good. Thank you. Please laugh at my jokes. We'll get by this a lot faster, people. Alrighty. These creatures came from medieval times and were known for their fierceness and might. They breathe fire, not air, have a most frightening stare, and in legend were slayed by a knight. One, two, three, what is it? Dragon. That is correct. It's a big, scary dragon with, with wings like a 747 that go, Meow. what the heck is that? I don't trust it. It's so cute and cuddly. Is it pink? Is it salmon? I don't know, but I'm allergic to anything away from me. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh, you, you good? No, no. 
Uh, anyway, this is a bearded dragon, and her name is Nano. Can everyone say, hello, Nano? Talk to that thing. Don't talk to it. <sighs> That's right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Let me see that thing. Debt, I think we have a problem. What's that? That thing does not have a beard. <gasps> I've discovered a new species, the freshly shaven dragon. I'm a genius. <laughs> Clap for me, I'm smart. Clap no, for me. No, don't, don't Thank encourage you. her, please. Uh, professor, they're not called bearded dragons because they have a beard. Oh. They're called a bearded dragon because the underside of their throat can puff out and turn black like a beard if they feel threatened. But that's not scary. Get to the part where it shoots lasers out of its eyes and, uh, and oh, wait, it roasts fire and roasts children in one breath. Uh, no, Professor, it does not eat children. Darn. It mainly eats plants. Plants? Plants? Really? That is horrifying. Can I make a green smoothie, too? Just put that thing away before it starts yelling at us that CrossFit is the best form of exercise. Uh, Professor, it can't talk, so that's not gonna happen. Whatever. And second of all, uh, CrossFit is the best form of ah, exercise. Ah, you're one of those, aren't you? But anyway, you? third of all, she doesn't just eat plants. She also eats small insects. Crickets and worms are some of her favorite foods. But that's still not scary. Get to the part where it becomes a demogorgon and hunts you down like from Stranger Things. <laughs> Uh, don't spoil anything, all right? Bob's my favorite character. Oh, I, no, don't, don't, don't tell her. Just don't, don't, all right. Look, well, she can't do that. But if she feels threatened, she can actually flatten out her body like a pancake so she looks bigger. Aw, uh, now I'm hungry. Guys, is that thing scary? No. It's not? You sure? All righty then, get it out of here. All right, everyone say goodbye, Nano. Bye, Nano. <sighs> Dead. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but what the heck? Let's try one of your party tricks again. We got time. Alrighty, guys, let's see. What do we have over here that we can use to make dead something scary? Er, <laughs> get it, because he's ugly? <laughs> ha, 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 I can still hear you, Professor. Yeah, I know, that's the point. Oh, bingo, a little toy car. Ready, guys? Start your engines. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, hey, Dad? I may have accidentally, sort of, kind of, not really, uh, dropped a little toy car thingamajig into the cauldron. I'm not sure if that helps with your party trick or whatnot, but, uh, what the... Are you... Vin Diesel? You're done right, I am, Professor. Oh, no. You and me, we're like family. I don't like that. Family's like gotta that. stick together no matter what. No matter how much I keep aging and doing ridiculous things in my movies right. that I shouldn't be able to do because of my age. Yeah. But just you wait, because in a few short years, my next movie's coming out. It's called Fast 10, Your Seatbelt. Seriously? Vin, I'm sorry, but those movies are terrible. Hmm? Although, you are pretty good at that talking tree in outer space. It's funny, because we're a DC theme park. Don't tell anyone. I am. Well, you're definitely not scary. <laughs> That's okay, though. We have a couple of more spells left in the spell book. And if we're going to go back to the spell book, then we must go to... <laughs> Hazel, seriously? Hazel, you nut. Ah! Hazel nut! You get it? Am I cracking you guys up? Ah! I, I think they're allergic to your sense of humor. Professor. Yeah, just like everyone else. All right! Anyway, we must go to... The cauldron. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get up out of those seats, move yourselves around, burn off those burnt chicken tendo calories, because it's a dance party. Starring me. Guys, don't be intimidated because I'm a better dancer than all of you, believe me. I know you haven't had a lifelong practice like I have. Come on, guys, don't make me look like an idiot here. Someone, all right, you got to get up out of this seat. Come on, come on. Ready? Guys, see? Take some inspiration. What about you? You too? Ready? Go like this. Woo! Yeah, I see you over here. Good job. How about you? Come on with it. No? Wow. All right. Professor. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here for the party. Oh. Well, this is awkward. You're not on the party list, Dad. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. Large fry. Big soda. Hey, Dad. You want anything? I'm at the drive-thru. Yeah. Can I get a cheap? Yeah, sure. Any sauce with that? Ooh, you know the zesty sauce yeah, that they give like the onion rings? Yeah, like a little zesty sauce, all right. You want to supersize that? Absolutely. Okay, anything else? You want to do ice cream? Yeah, let's put an ice cream, why not? <laughs> Hang on. Ow. Oh, sorry. Our machine's broken. Don't you hate when that happens? 
No? I think your comedy is broken, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Thank you, Hazel. I'm done embarrassing myself. <laughs> sure. Arise now, friend who rhymes with wizard, who has a long tongue and a long tail, a cold-blooded one, captures heat from the sun, and his legs move faster than a snail. One, two, three, what is it? That's right, it's a big, scary lizard like a little puppy with a big tongue that'll just lick your face off like Oh my goodness, what the heck is that thing? It's like a cute little puppy, but it's a lizard and it has a tongue and a tail and scales and I'm really confused, right? Where's the park exit? Where's the park exit? Excuse me! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Professor, calm down. Uh, just so you know, the park exit's down that way. But also, this is a Tegu, and his name is Samson. Can everyone say, hiya, Samson? I don't trust that thing. You guys trust that thing? No. Uh, what the heck is a Thai black? No, Professor, a Tegu. Thai black. A Tegu. Ah, a Thai black. Say, Tay. Tay. Now say, Goo. Black. A Tegu is a lizard found in both Central and South America. Although they have become an invasive species in South Florida. An invasive species? Like a college kid who moves back home after graduation. Darn millennials. I did that, right, Mom? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, professor? What? I'll beat you to it. He does not eat children. All right. So, does he eat parents? <laughs> no, he doesn't eat oh, people. Come on. He, like the bearded dragon, is an omnivore. An omnivore? Omnivore. Oh, he's Amish. He hates technology. <laughs> Laugh for me. <laughs> no, don't, that's no, Professor, an omnivore. Okay, Amish. No, it, he eats plants and seeds and berries, a lot of small rodents and insects. Another thing that eats bugs? What is this? The new health trend of 2018? No, oh, it's just what a, reptiles happen to eat. But that's not scary. Get to the part where it uses its razor sharp claws to rearrange people's faces. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but you're going to have to find someone else to perform your cosmetic surgery. Oh, I was really hoping it could help. I have this mole right here that every time I look in the mirror, it oh, just aggravates oh, me. No. Do you see yeah. it? Like that? I will yeah. never unsee that. No, oh, Professor, I'm sorry about your mole, and I hate to disappoint you, but this tie <laughs> this, this tegu is not very scary. Guys, are you afraid of this thing? No? no? Seriously? Yes? All right, buddy, then just get it out of here. All right, everyone say goodbye, Samson. I love you so much. <laughs> Guys, have you been scared at all? Nothing? Not even a little? Really? Oh, Professor. What? Do you want to see something really scary? Yes! <laughs> Turn it off! Cover your eyes! Get it the family show! Lipstick brings all the boys to the yard and they're like... Just let it run its course. He's almost done. <laughs> Right. Are you done? Okay. You know what? I said scary, not scarring. I'm sorry. Uh, can I try turning into one more scary thing? I think I can really do it this time. Oh, fine, fine, fine. Go now before I change my mind. All right. I won't let you down. Yeah, okay. Please be scarier than Vin Diesel this time because that was just disturbing. I could come out as his acting. Now that is pretty darn spooky. All right, guys. We're running out of options here. What do we have this time that we can plop into the cauldron? <gasps> oh, bingo and action. <laughs> Alrighty, because there are plenty of scary movies out there. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. And then there's this, my Oscar. <laughs> oh goodness, I totally wasn't prepared for a speech. Uh, you know, I won this baby for being the most annoying person at a theme park. And let me tell you, did I win that by a landslide? I would like to thank all the Six Flags Great Adventure connoisseurs. I stalk your Facebook page every day. Oh, and to my Nana for supporting my dream. Oh, oh wait, and to the real MVP, the love of my life, my Timmy Cat Boo Boo. I love you. Probably the whiniest villain in all of the galaxy. 
I am not. Yes, you are. No, you I'm not. Ben, give me the light. No, no, this is not. Oh, what are you gonna do? Stab me and throw me off a cliff? Hey, give no me. spoilers. I don't know what we're talking about. I don't watch Star Wars. Give me this thing. Give me this thing. All right. All right. We are done here. Go take that stupid mask and ridiculous cape off now. Oh, we're gonna start talking about stupid costumes. I hope your goggles are keeping your hair safe. Okay, you know what? It's a safety hazard, and this is my moo moo, and it's very fashionable. Thank you. Yeah, fashionable. Sure. Teenagers. Wait a second now. I've got an idea. <laughs> Ready, guys? Watch and learn. Be very, very quiet. One, two, three! Bam! <laughs> Your butt would have burned off. Oh gosh, that was so fun. Ow! Hey, hey! This is my show. We talked about this. We talked about this. Get, get, you know, just right now, okay? We are done. We have no time for whiners. We only have time for one last spell. You know what that means? Say it with me, people. We, we must, must go, go to, to the. <laughs> it's not funny. I totally peed a little. <laughs> Hazel, seriously? We ought to put a bell on her. Ooh, so what you're saying is that we need a little more cowbell. All right, and let's get back to work, come on. But Professor, I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. All right, come on, Bob Farrell, let's get back to work, please. Ahem, we must go to... The Cauldron! All right, ladies and gentlemen, which one of you lucky bachelors would like to dance with this fine piece of art? Oh my gosh, guys, see this, Deb? I actually have volunteers. Serious? Oh my god, this is like a dream. Can we be friends? Is this serious? Is this real life? Mom! Mom, break out the video camera. I have a friend. All right, ready? I want you to be like a, like a graceful swan floating in the lake. Just let yourself loose. No, that leg. Oh, da -da -da -da. All right, beautiful, okay? You know the... I'm sorry, she's not working out. It's a, it's not me, it's you. You have two left feet, all right? Just, just fix that and then maybe we can be friends, all right? Okay. Thank you. I hate looking like a villain. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty, enough of that. <clears throat> you see, this is why we never buy a clothes. Wait a second. I've got an idea. Hey, Margarita! You heard nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Uh, that was nothing, Mommy. I was just uh pr practicing my my uh my cartwheels. <laughs> okay, thank you. You saw nothing. Do you hear me? Okay. On to our last bell, friends. Arise now, friend, who rhymes with the wizard, who has a long tongue and a long tail. Oh, wait, just kidding, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, conjure up our frightful friend, make her creepy and scary and furry. As black as the night, with a venomous bite, she has eight legs that help her to scurry. See, it is a spider, and I didn't want to do this spell because I'm actually terrified, so that's why I was trying for the dragon again, but whatever. Okay, thank you. That's right. It said big, scary spider. Eight eyes that'll stare at you while you eat your bologna sandwich. No, no, this isn't scripted, guys. I actually have severe arachnophobia, so I just peed my pants again. Where's the restroom? Where is the restroom? Mommy! Mommy! What? <laughs> Professor, if you're done with your opera. Uh -uh. Anyway, Hi. this is a curly haired tarantula, oh, and hair. her name really is scary. Ari. Thank you. Can everyone say, Howdy, Ari? Don't talk to that thing. Don't talk to that thing. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. Oh. You know what? Spiders are scary because they poop web. I, no, Professor. They do not poop uh, web. I, I, I've seen them do it. Web comes out of their butts, and that's called pooping. Uh, no, Professor. They spin web using their spinneret. Ah. Poop. Spinnerets. Poop. Spinnerets. Ah, tomato potato. That's not even how the saying goes. Whatever. Me, 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 me. Anyway, Ari uses her webs to help her catch her prey, which is small insects. 
Oh, of course, not children. Can it eat a salad too? Uh, no, just bugs. Oh, Atkins diet. I can respect that. Now, Ari has these little hairs on her legs called urticating hairs. Herd of are... Katie hairs. Urticating. Herd of Katie. Yes, I have heard of Katie. She works right there at the food stand. Hi, Katie. Are you still coming to my party later? She's not, Professor. Yeah, I know. No one will. Thanks for reminding me. No, Professor. Urticating hairs are these little hairs that she has on her arms oh, and I legs. Can't stop. Where, if she feels threatened, she can actually kick them off and irritate the eyes and nose of any potential predators. So it has hairy legs and irritates people. Sounds like my ex. <laughs> yeah, that's right, ladies. Relatable content. Oh, <laughs> Professor. Huh? Ari here will actually make you very happy. She is venomous. Really? Oh boy, oh boy! 20 minutes into the show and we finally got to something venomous. Oh, oh, tell the crowd how it'll bite you and uh, paralyze you and make you drool for three straight hours while people walk by you and laugh at you. <laughs> well, fortunately as for us, Professor, the venom doesn't really affect humans too much. You know, its, it's symptoms are you know, a little closer to like a, a bee sting. You know. A bee sting? Seriously? This was supposed to be the grand finale, and the scariest thing you have is a bee sting. I'm afraid so. <sighs> Guys, are you afraid of this thing? No! I'm hearing a lot of mixed reviews, but I am with the yes side, so get it out of here! All right. Everyone say goodbye, Ari. Bye, ugly. <laughs> uh, uh, Ari. Our bees. We have the meats. All right, you know what? I'm done, all right? I have one thing left to try. I want you to put something into that cauldron, and I'm gonna come out as something scary. All right, so my turn in the spotlight. Yep, don't get used to it. See the sign? Professor Slither's Creepy Critters. I think that says Professor Stinky's Creepy um, Critters. Can you leave that alone? I don't know how to spell or like read, so just be Wait, nice, does that all say right? Stinky's? No. All right, I don't like that, enough. All right, let's see. What can I put in the, uh... Ooh, it's a professor's old iPod. Boo! <laughs> get off the stage! <laughs> let's see. A, B, C. Ooh, what's this one? Yep. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Oh, Say no, never mind. You know what? I'm done. Just, 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 stop. Stop! Thank you. All right, um... I guess I'll just put it on shuffle and hope for the best. What? Oh, you know like. Okay, what does that mean? You know, like when you're real excited for fright fest, you just gotta let it out and go. Professor? I'm Cardi B, okay? Tell me that you're sorry, I count my coins like Mario. They call me Cardi B because I run the show like Cardio. My weave, who oh know my weave, weave snatched. Cardi B? Okay. Are you trying to. Are you trying to. Cardi! Look, I, I don't get it. I mean, you're very confusing, and you look like Cousin It, but you're just... <laughs> but you're not scary. <sighs> you're right, McMahon. I have done nothing but conjure up creatures that don't bite kids' faces off, or even jump out from corners and yell poo. I'm a failure. <laughs> ah, I have an uglier crying face than Kim K when she lost her diamond earring. <laughs> I'm like Laura Lee. Look at me. <laughs> Professor? What? You have a really ugly crying face, Gee, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you it's just so much. disgusting. It's yeah. worse than that mole you have. But yeah. you know what? I don't think that you're a failure. You don't? No! I, of course not. I mean, you, your goal is to scare the kids, and I don't really think you managed to do that. Is this but, supposed to be helping me? But you know what? You did teach these kids that these animals are not so scary. They're actually helpful and important to their environment. Yeah. I did? Yeah, let's I go mean, with that. Yeah, I did! Heck yeah, I did. You know, 
I just wanted to make sure you all understood that. All part of the act, people. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Professor, I'm the one who actually told everyone about all the animals. Oh, uh, 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 I didn't try no, and convince no, 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 no. the kids that Do spiders not go web. try to steal my thunder. Nobody steals the thunder of Professor T. Slithers. See my thunder. Alrighty, folks. Thank you all for coming out to see Professor Slithers' Creepy Critters. Please give a round of applause to Witch Hazel. And another round of applause to my best friend, Dead McMahon. Louder, louder. Now soft, soft, soft. Right, now loud soft. again. Quiet! And I am Professor T. Slithers. And until next time, enjoy Bright Fest and Six Flags Great Adventure. Out of my way. And if any of you would like to come up and meet one of our animal stars, please form a single file line down the center aisle. Thank you. Uh -huh.